Hi, I'm Madison. I'm an intern for Retire Safe, and today we'll be presenting a webinar on biologics versus biosimilars. I will be covering their similarities, differences, as well as how they can be useful for treatment. What are biologics? Biologics are FDA-approved medications used to treat diabetes, Crohn's disease, cancers, psoriasis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Biologic medications come from living organisms. Unlike other conventional medications, they cannot be made by a chemical recipe. Thus, developing them could be a more complex process. Biologics are also designed to significantly reduce disease progression. Biologics and arthritis. Biologics are used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, reduce inflammation, halt joint damage, and slow the progression of arthritis. Some common examples of biologics used to treat rheumatoid arthritis include Humira, Embrel, and Remicade. Biologics and Cancer Biologics and biologic therapies are useful in stopping the growth of cancer cells by aiding the immune system in making cancer cells grow like normal cells. Use of biologics also make cancer cells easier to destroy. They also help normal cells damaged by radiation and chemotherapy. What are biosimilars? Biosimilars are on average 30% cheaper than biologics. There are no meaningful differences between biologics and biosimilars. They're both made from living organisms and they're administered the same by injection. They also have the same dosage and strength. They're also both safe and effective. However, biosimilars meet even higher FDA standards. FDA approval of biosimilars. Before FDA approval, the biosimilar must be highly similar to the original biologic. A thorough evaluation process ensures that the biosimilar is safe and effective. The safety and effectiveness must also match that of the original biologic product. The biosimilar must also meet the same quality standards as the original. Interchangeable biosimilar medications. Interchangeable biosimilar medications are safe and effective. They also meet higher and additional FDA requirements and testing. They are prescribed by a doctor and can be substituted for the original biologic product without the intervention of a healthcare professional. Biosimilars versus generics. Both biosimilars and generics are marketed as cheaper alternatives to name brand drugs. They, are, they also both have the same clinical effect as name brand drugs. However, generics takes less time to develop and cost less to develop as well, while biosimilars take more time to develop and cost more to develop. Biosimilars provide treatment at lower cost but still cost more than generics. Biosimilars also have higher risks and higher research costs. Biologics versus biosimilars. Biologics are more costly than biosimilars. However, they both have the same development process. They're both safe and effective and both administered by injection. Here are a few questions to reiterate what has been presented in this webinar so far. The first question is, how much cheaper are biosimilars than biologics? The second question is, what are the differences between biologics and biosimilars? The answer to the first question is biosimilars are on average 30% cheaper than biologics. The answer to the second question is, there are no meaningful differences between biologics and biosimilars. Here are some more resources from the FDA, Pfizer, as well as the Cancer Center if you are looking for more information. Also, if you are looking for more information or have any questions, you can contact Retire Safe via our phone number, email, or visit our website www.retiresafe.org. Thank you for watching this webinar on biosimilars versus biologics.